Good day fellow investors. Now, some viewers asked me what do I think about McEwen mining. As I like the CEO, I like his charismatic approach telling the world that gold will be at 5000, I decided to dig in and today I'll share with you my research about McEwen, what's the value, what's the potential and what's the risk. So, hope you enjoy the video. What is very interesting about McEwen mining, it's that it is an asset very very difficult to value. To value something you need future cash flows and then you discount them to pres the present value and you get the value. However, with McEwen you don't have any idea of what will the future cash flows be. Therefore, it's extremely difficult to value what McEwen owns. However, we will give it a go and show the huge potential it has, but also the large risks. Let's start with discussing the company, then we'll dig into the valuations, look at the resources and try to determine what can happen to McEwen on the good and on the bad and then you'll make the decision if you like that bet. McEwen is a production development exploration company with production in Argentina, Mexico and Ontario, the development the gold bar project in Nevada close to the largest barrick gold project, El Galo Silva in Mexico, then we have exploration around the all the mines that I have mentioned plus Los Azules exploration in Argentina which is a very very interesting copper project in the middle of nowhere however with a huge net present value we'll discuss that too let's first discuss the producing assets the San Jose mine in Argentina estimated mine life is five year underground mining which means expensive and they produce around 102,000 ounces per year and 6.7 million silver ounces. However, McEwen Mining owns only 49% of the mine. The El Gallo Mine has even a shorter life mine of just 2.5 years, but has lower mining costs. So there is some profit in the mine. The third producing mine is the recently acquired Black Fox Complex that McEwen purchased for 45 million, even if Primero purchased it for 300 million and invested 120 million since then. So this is really the example of what McEwen does. He buys assets that nobody wants to buy. So he bought here 10 cents on the dollar. What was the value for Primero a few years ago when gold prices were much higher? And this shows you also what kind of play is McEwen mining. If gold prices rise, you can expect all those little borderline valuable assets that I mentioned producing or exploring to increase in value 10 times at least because that's the strategy. Buy things on the cheap that nobody wants because nobody knows what will be the profitability of the Black Fox mine in the next 2-3-4 years. And if you are an investor, a fund manager, you are responsible for returns to your investors. Everybody likes linear returns. And if you remember our video about extremistan and mediocristan, 99% of people are in mediocristan. McEwen mining is in extremistan. And therefore, forget about linearity with McEwen. If gold prices go up, McEwen will explode. If gold prices go down, McEwen will be in trouble. Summing it all up, McEwen is now producing 180,000, expected to produce 180,000 ounces of gold in 2018, which is good. The cash costs are around 1,000 per ounce, so I expect profits in the best case scenario of around 37 million or around 10 cents per share, which is not much. So the price earnings ratio in 218, if everything goes as planned, would be 20 at current prices. Plus, McEwen is using all that money for financing the exploration and development of the other projects it has. Let's see the other development projects. Gold Bar in Nevada, as I said already, located 25 miles from Barrick's largest gold mine. The net present value of this project is just 30 million. That's very, very low. So it really needs higher gold prices to become efficient. Nevertheless, higher gold prices at, produ at a production rate of 65,000 ounces really amount to something in the future. El Gallo Silver 
they are developing that expect to be a mine life of 6.5 years and to produce almost 100,000 gold equivalent ounces. The pre-feasibility study indicated 118 million net present value with silver at $25 per ounce and gold at $1,400 per ounce. As those prices are definitely lower now, I expect a much lower net present value. Again, a borderline valuable asset. Exploration, there is plenty of exploration at Edgalo where they hope to find similar deposits. In the Timmins region, the recently acquired deposits are close to many historical deposits and current operating and past operating mines. So there is definitely potential and there is definitely a lot of value in the in the resources McEwen bought if gold prices go up. Now there is another very interesting project the Los Azules project in Argentina which is a huge project that has almost 20 billion pounds of copper 135 million ounces of silver and almost 4 million ounces of gold. That is a huge deposit and if developed it will be a tier 1 copper produce. The net present value of the project is 2.2 billion after tax. So you would say now, okay, 2.2 billion divided by the 350 million shares that McEwen has is about $7 per share. However, that asset is somewhere in the middle of nowhere in the mountains in Argentina. If you want to export the ore from there through an Argentinian port, you have to transport it for a thousand miles or the best option would be to export it through Coquimbo in Chile and that's 200 miles however there are there is a road but you have to develop the roads and so on and so on the necessary investment is 2.3 billion and we know that McEwen doesn't have that money plus all the ore there are still resources they are not reserves so there's there has to be done plenty of drilling to confirm the ore body, bring it to a pre-feasibility study, and then we can discuss a net present value of 50% on the value. In addition, McEwen has to bring in a partner who's going to invest the 2.3 billion to develop it. So there is a lot of stages and a lot of money has to be spent to bring it to a level where we can say that the asset is valuable. However, the copper is probably there and somewhere in the future if copper prices explode, it will be again very, very valuable. However, the value for McEwen now is very questionable. Perhaps our friends from Argentina would like to comment if they have some local news about the project, which would be very, very interesting to see how it develops. McEwen's current market capitalization is about 700 million with the $2 per share stock price. Now, all those assets are very borderline valuable. I wouldn't give them a 700 million dollar valuation. So you're really paying a premium here on the potential that McEwen has if gold prices explode. So let's see what can happen if gold prices explode. If I go back to the production that McEwen expects in 2020 in the best case scenario and then I, let's say gold prices go to 2500 don't think it's impossible gold prices were at 250 just 15 years ago so if gold prices double the 300,000 ounces of production suddenly have a net profit margin of around a thousand dollars per ounce that's 300 million thus you get a profit of around one dollar per share for McEwen times 12.5 you get a price of 10 10.8 dollars which is five times higher than the current price additionally there is something very interesting look at the gold resources 10 million ounces of gold that's in value more than 12 13 billion dollars silver resources 221 million ounces of silver and then we have 14.3 billion copper pounds that's about 50 billion dollars in copper value of course that has to be mined but just shows you the potential McEwen has so that's it that's the strategy that McEwen is using and the fact is that Rob McEwen was successful with the same strategy when he was the CEO of Gold Corp 
prior to 2005. So Gold Corp really had a nice performance when Rob McEwen was at the helm, 31% per year in total performance, plus 3000%. The strategy was the same, buy assets that are not valuable at current gold prices, gold prices were below 300 in 2001, and then wait for gold prices to shoot up. They think gold prices will shoot up in the future. If you think the same in the next five years, then it, McEwen Mining is really the play for you. So that's the upside and the upside is huge. Let's take a look at the downside. You can see that when gold prices went below 1,100, McEwen went below one. Quickly spiked to above four in 2016 and now it's again below two as people expect lower gold prices and they haven't seen higher gold prices that they expected, so they couldn't deliver on what they have promised. However, something very important here is that McEwen has no debt, which means that it's difficult to go bankrupt if you have no debt, so it takes a long time, which is a bonus. However, if gold prices decline, if McEwen doesn't operate profitably or doesn't find the money to develop all those projects, we can quickly see a share price below one. And then the listing issues come and so on and so on. So expect huge volatility. On the positive side, Rob McEwen owns 24% of the company, so he has skin in the game. To conclude, McEwen is really an extremist an investment. There is nothing linear to expect there. You cannot calculate the value of what it owns. You can just look, okay, this is the value if gold prices go much, much, much higher. And this is the value if gold prices go down. We have a few years of surviving. So very, very tricky investment. I would say it's a bet on gold prices, not an investment. So if you like it, feel free to dig deeper into McEwen. This is not a recommendation to buy or to sell, just a description for those who are interested in such extreme investments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.